Greetings YouTube, the doctor is in. Dr. Urias Papers here coming at you with another commentary on Dungeons and Dragons. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. If you like this video, hit the like button. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave a question or a comment. All right, today it's another installment of the Doctor Spell Prognosis and we are talking about the spell Gentle Repose. Um, this is a second level spell that is usable by clerics, wizards, grave domain clerics, get it automatically, and circle of spores, druids. I'm giving this spell a solid C. It's very situational, but, um, it is a second level spell. It is a ritual, which, and it is a, for some reason, some strange reason, wizards can cast this. So a wizard does not have to memorize this spell uh, and can cast it as a ritual spell. However, there is a catch to that. So, um, and we're going to talk about that and how this spell is supposed to be synergized with some other spells. So, it's a second level spell. It takes an action or can be cast as a ritual. Um, it has a range of touch, verbal, somatic, material components. It lasts for 10 days, no concentration. Um, so you touch a corpse and for the duration, which is 10 days, it's protected from decay and cannot become undead. The spell also extends the time limit on raising the target from the dead. Um, these days do not count towards such spells as, or spells such as, which means raise dead is an example. Then we are looking at another spell. And that spell is Revivify. So Revivify will count. We'll go through this later. It's a third level spell. Um, and you can return a creature to life with one hit point that's dead uh, within the minute that they died. <clears throat> now, Gentle Repose becomes important in case you don't have that spell memorized or prepared. Then... You could have a cleric, wizard, grave domain cleric, or circle of spores druid cast gentle repose on them immediately, and it will preserve them for 10 days. Then you can cast revivify. Now, why would you want to cast revivify versus raise dead? Uh, revivify is cheaper. It's 300 gold pieces. Raise dead is 500 gold pieces. Um, and uh, you got a 10-day limit on raise dead. It's also a fifth-level spell, whereas revivify is a third-level spell. So... So there's, there, there's all that to consider, and that's why I think it, it's very situational because, to be honest, uh, players don't die very often in 5th edition, but if they are dead, you need to have this spell. And I've seen this spell used just in this manner, um, but a wizard cannot ritually cast this spell and have it be effective for a revivify because it takes 10 minutes to ritually cast a spell then that breaks the one minute minute um, writer for Revivify. So you have to have it prepared, and you have to cast it um, as an action. So, I mean, other than that, I really, other than, you know, stopping player characters from becoming undead or breaking the writer time limits on the uh, raise type of spells, you know, if you have any other uses for this spell, put them in the comments, and then uh, you know we can get them out there. All right, that's what I got for everybody today. I appreciate everybody tuning in, and I will catch everybody later.